What's up, guys? Um, Paven coming to another video today. Today I'm gonna be doing my uh, resume predictions. So let's get started, guys. My first match is gonna be Neville versus Lost Aries. Neville's been hot lady as a, you know, cruiserweight champion, the king of the cruiserweights, as he says. Um, this is probably the best character I've seen from in a long time. You know, and he's only gonna get better as a heel. So I don't really see anybody stopping him for a while. Um, Aries, you know, I don't really see him winning it. I think Neville has more star power to her, and he's on a bigger run so far. So I think Neville's uh, continuing as a cruiserweight champion, uh, as retaining it at WrestleMania. So I'm taking Neville to win that match uh, over Austin Aries. And I'm taking, and then the next one I got under the giant pen, Rory Battle Royal. It's either Braun Strowman or the field. Um, Braun Strowman has been improving lately as, uh, you know, other raw talent, especially after he came to his own, until he, uh, you know, after the brand split, you know, him uh, stepping away from the Wyatt family. Um, you know, he's been improving lately, you know, um, as a, you know, as a wrestler. Um, he's been really dominant lately, and I think he's going to, you know, uh, uh, hurt, uh, fuck some people up. So I, I see him dominating this one, and I see him winning that one uh, in the winning the Andre Giant Memorial Battle Royal. The next one we got Rock Tag Team Championship Triple Threat Ladder Match. Uh, this would be a fun match. Uh, you know, it's the most exciting one, but this should be a pretty fun match. Uh, we're gonna see some cool moments. You know, probably like, you probably saw like oh shit moments. You know, but you know, it's not gonna be the best match, but it's gonna be a pretty fun match. And I got. Enzo and Cass winning this one, you know, they've been pretty still as a tag team lately, you know, they got, you know, they got hit pretty hard, but, you know, been kind of still, you know, kind of, you know, borderline, not, not as good, you know, forgettable, but, you know, just redeem themselves, I think, but, you know, give them some you know, more energy, give them some, uh, you know, star power, I think they should win this one, you know, it's their moment, and, you know, uh, they deserve it, they deserve the Raw Tag Team Championship, so I'm taking them to win it. And then you got Alexa Bliss versus the whole women's division on SmackDown for the women's championship. Um, as we found out, we get now we return on Tuesday for SmackDown Live. So uh, you know, I really chunk You know, before I took, before I uh, was doing the prediction, I was already taking Becky Lynch to win this one. But now uh, it's gonna be Orlando, Florida. You know, setting up Naomi to win this one. So I'm gonna take Naomi to win. Uh, and uh, you know, get back her women's championship, but she never lost. So uh, I'm gonna take her to win. And then the next one, I got you got Dean Ambrose versus Baron Corbin. Uh, you know, Dean Ambrose was already you know really big win. You know, Baron Corbin. You know, especially that big one he had last year at WrestleMania. You know, he's only gonna continue it this year. So um, you know, this won't hurt Dean Ambrose's career. Uh, you know, he's, he's still one of the top guys of WWE. So. I got Baron Corbin to win this one. You know, to ele to elevate himself, you know, hasn't really been a good build up, so it's whatever. So, but I'm taking Baron Corbin. And then we got Chris Jericho versus Kevin Owens. This one, you know, um, I got as an upset. You know, I'm pretty taking Chris Jericho. You know, a lot of people are taking Kevin Owens because Chris Jericho's gonna leave. You know, you know, which is the case. You know, he might, you know, you never know, he might lose out raw the next day. Uh, but I'm really taking him to win. You know. You know, he do, you know, I think he deserves it, you know, he's been, you know, squashing to a lot of young guys, you know, which, you know, it's, you know, it's right, you know, because he's the old guy now, but I'm taking this as well, so I'm taking Chris Jericho to win this one, that's, you know, I'm very, like, what the hell, you know, I'm, I'm very, I gotta, I, I feel it that Chris Jericho is gonna win, and then I mean, the next one, we got Raw Women's Championship, Bailey versus Sasha Banks versus Nia Jax versus Charlotte, um, Bailey's been kind of still as a Raw Women's Championship, you know, been pretty weak and boring. Um, you know, it's not, it hasn't been hot since after that Charlotte and Sasha rivalry. That's really got the ball moving. I really, you know, solidified the women's division on a whole nother level. Uh, but, you know, to give them more better stuff her, to bring it back up, I think Nia Jax should win this one. The most dominant female right now in the women's division, you know, out of all the division. I think she should win this one. I think it's her time, and I think she deserves it. So I'm taking Nia Jax to win the Raw Women's Championship. And then the next one, we got AJ Styles versus Shane McMahon. You know, um, Shane McMahon doesn't really need to win this one. You know, the stipulation's kind of, eh, you know. You know, everybody's going for AJ, you know. But, you know, 
I got a feeling that uh, Shane might win this one and the upset, you know, this qualification, anything, a count out, you know, it should be a good one. So uh, I'm going to take Shane, man, as another upset to win this one. And then we got Nikki Bella and John Cena versus Maurice and the Miz. Um, I think they're setting up a Nikki Bella and John Cena uh, proposal after the match, so I'm going to take them as a win. I think John Cena is going to propose Nikki Bella after the match, uh, but uh, we never know, so uh, I don't know. But I'm just going to take them man, as a match I already don't give a shit about. But uh, yeah, I guess I'll take them. <laughs> and then we got Seth Rollins Triple H. Um, um, you know, this be, uh, you know, had a lot, you know, most of the card, you know, this is pretty much the been built up since last year, so, um, you know, this is going to be a great match, uh, tough one, you know, I like both wrestlers, uh, um, but I think it's his time, I think he, you know, he's the guy, uh, he's the man, and I think he should win it, you know, he's a good talent, he's, he's one of the most hard workers, uh, in WWE, and, you know, this should be a pretty good matchup. This is going to be one of the uh, best matches. So I'm going to take Seth Rollins, you know, to win. And then next, I got the we got the Undertaker versus Rami Reigns. You know, I was up and down with this one. You know, um, it was part of the toughest one out of all of them. And you know, I get it if Roman wins at least hill, but you know, if they're not going to turn him hill, you know, uh, I just don't see Roman Reigns win this match. You know. Even though it's, everything's fun to Roman Reigns, you know, to you know, beat the Undertaker and put him on the show, but uh, I got Undertaker barely winning this one, you know. Yeah, Roman Reigns gonna bring his A game and all that, but you know, I got Undertaker, you know, he's still a legend, he's still you know doing it, and you know, I got Undertaker barely beating Roman Reigns. It's, it's, it's gonna be one of the, it's gonna be one of the best matches. So yeah, watch out for you know, watch out for an upset. You never know. And then you got Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton. Um, Bray Wyatt, you know, he's, you know, pretty good running the championship, but I think Randy Orton needs to, you know, win it one more time, you know, before he gets the young guys, you know. He's getting one of the, he's going to turn into one of those old guys, so I think he's just getting one more run at the title, and I think he should win this one. Um, it's pointing through everything for Randy to win this one. You know, it's hard for Wyatt, but, you know, I think Randy should win. I think Randy's gonna win this one. I got Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar. Uh, you know, I'm tired of all these damn five two minute three ten second matches, so uh I got Brock Lesnar in a bloody match. Uh this this is probably gonna go for at least ten to twelve minutes. So I'm gonna take Brock Lesnar and uh and uh, you know uh, dominating Goldberg. And a blood for this I think he's gonna I think it's gonna be, you know, one of those matches. So I see go I see Goldberg, you know, uh, bloodied up. I see the two or three F fives on him, and I see I just see Brock being the beast as he is winning this match. So, yeah, I got Brock winning Lesnar winning that one. So, yeah, guys, that's my card, and that's my that's what I think is gonna you know win. The guys are gonna win at WrestleMania. So, I want to see what y'all think of my card. I want to see I'm gonna be seeing videos of you know on YouTube of the predictions and you know what. What I think of your RC so I like to see, hope you all check out my video and you know hope you all like subscribe and I'll see you on WrestleMania Day. But have a nice night guys.